Joining us tonight is Republican National Committee Chair Ronna McDaniel. Ronna, great to have you with us. And uh, I really, I, I have to say, Goldman Sachs has just handed you and the Republican Party and the president a, an immense gift uh, for your, uh, your advertising against Joe Biden. I, $20 a share is a significant, uh, a significant down, uh, uh, down move for any market. Uh, it would be disastrous. Your, re your reaction. Well, I think Goldman Sachs is right, and I think the the market recognizes this, and the American people should recognize Biden would be a disaster for our economy. He's never held a job outside of Washington. He's never started a business. He has no clue what he's doing. He will bankrupt this country. He's already talked about the fact that he would raise taxes, uh, get rid of our um, energy independence, sign on to the Green New Deal. Today he said he would direct funds away from the police, he would be an unmitigated disaster for this country, and Americans will be poorer for his leadership if he does get elected, which we're going to stop, Lou, because we're going to reelect President Trump. You need to get a hold of Kanye West. I mean, he got really confused uh, in one of his <laughs> latest pronouncements, saying, saying that uh, President Trump was in a bunker. Uh, it, it was a little confusing. Uh, he's going sort of the way of Joe Biden. Uh, it's Biden who spends all of his time in the basement uh, a bunker uh, in his home, uh, not the president of the United States, who is in front of the American people up close and personal uh, more than any president in modern history. Absolutely. I mean, Biden is hidden. Uh, he's not taking tough questions from the press. That is his whole campaign strategy. The less you get to know me, the better I'll do. Uh, I'm so excited for these debates. I cannot wait for them to go toe to toe. And of course, the president has not only led through this pandemic by getting the PPE and the ventilators and the testing ramped up. He put our economy in, in an unprecedented position before this. He's going to lead us back from this. But he's also showing the path forward. We can be healthy and safe, but we can also open up our economy and start working again and campaigning again, yeah. because we have to start moving We're, forward. And Biden is stuck in his We're, basement, shivering in fear. I, oh, Ron, if you would stay with us through this quick commercial break, we got a hard break coming at us. Uh, I want to continue with a few issues with uh, Mitch McConnell and the Republican Party. Ron McDaniel uh, on the other side of these commercials. Please stay with us. We're back with the chair of the Republican National Committee, Ronnie, Ronna McDan McDaniel. Uh, and and Ronna, let me, let me ask you this. You, you've got a lot of several uh, campaigns, whether it's uh, the, the Tuberville uh, Sessions a contest in Alabama, you know, whether it is uh, Collins uh, in, uh, in, in Georgia and, and Kobach out in Kansas. Uh, in most instances, their leading uh, are, in the case of Sessions, just short of leading uh, in their races, and yet they don't have the support of uh, the Republican Party. They don't have the support of, uh, uh, of Mitch uh, McConnell. Uh, what, what's going on, and why in the world aren't you supporting uh, winners? That's, I guess, the question. Why is there this confusion in the Republican well, Party when you need to keep a majority? So the RNC doesn't get involved in primaries, and I think that's there's wisdom in that because it allows you to bring the competing parties out together Lana, after a divisive Mc, primary. McConnell spending two million dollars yep. against Kobach. I'm sorry. The, the RNC doesn't. I mean, I mean he's trying to kill the front in runner in the poll. Yeah. Yeah, so we what's just the deal? We stay neutral because we bring everybody together. It's part of our policy. And then we, we come back together after the primary. We bring them together to get the winner across the finish line. We want the voters to make the decision, and they will. And, and Mitch has a different philosophy, and, and that's his choice. But we stay neutral in these primaries. Well, he's got the same philosophy. Tuberville is pro-amnesty. Uh, uh, he is on the wrong side of a number of issues. The president has endorsed him nonetheless, but did cancel a campaign uh, rally uh, with him. Uh, Kobach is as is, is conservative as he can be, uh, and, and frankly, he stands pretty tall amidst uh, the field that is uh, arrayed against him, uh, despite McConnell and his uh, rhino money. I mean, this is just, the party looks like hell to the American voter well, doing if, this but stuff. But, Lou, if we waste money, if here's the thing, and it's tough, because if we spend money in these primaries, 
we might not have money for the general. And we have to keep the Senate. So we've got to focus on who gets through the primary, let the voters decide. The candidates have to raise their own money and run their own race, and that's part of vetting the good candidate, getting through, winning these divisive mm -hmm. primaries or these competitive primaries, and then we get them across the finish line in the general. But we have to win the Senate. So our money has gone into the ground game. We're in all these battleground states, mm -hmm. the biggest ground game we've ever built, and we're ready to win back this, keep the Senate, win back the House, and reelect the president in November. And that is what our sure. focus is. And if I'm getting involved in all these primaries, I will waste resources that will eventually help us keep those yeah. goals in mind of winning the no. House, uh, keeping the Senate, and winning the presidency. I, uh, I wish I, I had unlimited funds. Then I get involved I was, in everything. I was asking <laughs> you to get a hold of Mitch McConnell's right ear and kind of twist it. <laughs> uh, Ronna, thanks so much. Okay, Appreciate okay. it. Great to see you as always. Ronna McDaniel.